Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Let's take a moment in order to focus ourselves for this work. We want to commemorate the terrible dropping of the bomb. Let's take a moment of silence in order to focus and get deep in our intensity within ourselves. Let's take a moment. Good people, we have the honor this morning to hear from a survivor, Takashi Tanamori is a survivor of the 1945 atomic bombing of Hiroshima, which happened when he was eight years old. Tanamori-san is a renowned artist, a writer, and a poet. His experience of losing both parents, two siblings, his eyesight, and overcoming hate is documented in Hiroshima Bridge to Forgiveness. Before he speaks, Elizabeth has a short word. Good afternoon. Uh, konnichiwa. I'm Elizabeth Weinberg with the Silkworm Peace Institute and we'd like to thank you all and I'd like to thank God for bringing all of us here today together. Um, one thing I wanted to share is uh, Takashi Tanamori, his family, the Tanamori family in Japan, his father once told him that Tanamori always gives from the heart. Tanamori gives out of abundance and also out of scarcity, but Tanamori always gives from the heart. And that, in essence, is Takashi Tanamori. There's a Japanese proverb, it's Nana Karobi Yaoki, which means fall seven times and rise eighth. And that is also Takashi Tanamori, a man who's weathered the seasons and is here today to share with you a very special message. Having come from Japan to America as the number one samurai son for revenge and then uh, finding forgiveness. Uh, we believe that forgiveness is the ground zero for global peace. So without further ado, I introduce to you Takashi Tanamori. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you so much. And today, I see the sign behind me. We are march for abolition of nuclear bomb. No nuke. Now, I'd be more than happy to share from my own personal experience of Hiroshima to tell you how we could abolish the nuclear bomb. And once for all, we are able to do it. And the next 10 minutes or so, I'd like to share with you that how we could abolish the nuclear bomb to create shift in the world toward the peace. Now, I just want to just talk from my heart. It's not so much how terrible, horrific event took place on August 6, 1945. But I just want to share with you the process which I came to, uh, okay, I came to find out how we could abolish a nuclear bomb. Since uh, I buried my father's on uh, September 3rd, 1945. Just before he was taken from me, my father said, 
Takashi, I taught you many things, the code of samurai, how to live by. But I also lived my life before you. Takashi, would you please promise to your own heart that you will teach your children the things I taught you. And I want you to live your life before the children as I lived. It was when I was eight years old, and he said, one last thing I want to ask you. Takashi, you know the greatest way to avenge your enemy is to learn to forgive. My father never repeated twice anything he had said to us. But this time he said, Takashi, may I repeat, the greatest way to avenge your enemy is to learn to forgive. And that was the last words he left to this number one son, Tanemori. Since then, it took 40 long years of my struggles. And I was like many of you, an anti-nuclear, anti, 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 anti-nuclear. And we think if we abolish the nuclear bomb from the world, like mayor of the Nagasaki Hiroshima, whom I met back in 1999, told me if we abolish them, we will stop the human suffering and also bring the peace. But that's back 1999, today 2017, the human suffering increased. And the fear of the nuclear war is just at the fingertip. It really is. The, the question is, as much as we desired abolishing a nuclear bomb in the entire march, but somehow, somewhere, the, our efforts are not producing. Is that because anti something that we are against? So, it took 40 long years of my struggle. I came to two things. One, my father's teaching, Takashi, greatest way to avenge your enemy is to learn to forgive. Then secondly, I learned about, instead of anti, against anything, that result from the conflict of our own hearts. So why don't I shift that energy for something for an unfortunate nuclear bomb, just like a genie in the out of the bottles that we cannot put back. So question is, how can we, how can we deal with it? And that's why I'm gonna say, it this, how I learned was to teach my father in 1985. I learned, I met, if I use that such a way, I came to place confronting the name of Jesus Christ, the who came, this word, now, according to the Gospel, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then the book of Romans tells us, whosoever called upon the name of Jesus Christ shall be saved. So this morning as we are coming up and J.C. Oten gave us a ride, he mentioned several times why he was driving. He said, 
the love neighbors as thyself. The love, love, love. And I said, that tribe, right. who needs love. And so there I was. I came to know Christ because God said he loved so much that he gave his own son. If we are to accomplish abolishing a nuclear bomb, can we not love, use the love for the source? How can we love to receive Christ as a personal savior? That's how I was able to come to that term. Once I experienced freedom, once I experienced the divine forgiveness, then I say, wow, that's wonderful. For me, the best way to abolish a nuclear bomb, as J.C. Orton said, love, love, love. And the gentleman who sang the song, veterans, gentlemen, he sang and the poem. It is. It is the love conquers all. So can we not find ourselves experience the first for you? I challenge you if you have not considered for God so loved the world. I'd like for you to consider how can we experience that love? energy can move forward, abolish the nuclear bomb by coming to know Christ as a personal savior. That's how I was able to do it. And I want you to know that is the greatest way to find. And the divine forgiveness is the grand zero to shifting the whole world to the peace. Well, I could say more, but I just, I finish, all right? So if there anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Shalom, peace, salam, shalom.